fans. Do you think this is over? The Scion is still mine. The dragon is near death. You will not keep me from my destiny! Ah, recognition. To kill a god. So, the commander of the Dragon's Watch Guild now stands alone against the god of war. Rare and valuable. Armed with nothing but a sword. And the foolish belief that you Infurious. just accomplished something. I've stopped you from destroying Tyria. That's something. You stopped nothing. My war beast has weakened that time. All I need to finish the task is the silent trap behind me. Then I guess we're not finished here. This has gone on long enough. Dracatoric's magic will be mine. Ori, glad to see you in one piece. Let's keep it that way. Stay close, and let's coordinate our attacks. Thank you. Oh God, no, don't worry up.
Well, Orin, I would love to. Wow. Still standing. <laughs> no. My energy is diminished. I am a god. Push you, Plato. Melandro. Betraying one of your own. I am a <sighs> chief. Do the wrong thing. Maureen, look out. Maureen, no. Maureen. And Crocodile just took all that energy. Damn, it's big. Commander, 
Are you okay? Where's Balthazar? Dead. Balthazar was determined to kill an Elder Dragon, and we stopped him. The world is safe, for now. Is Orin okay? She saved my life, but then she ran off. Probably not safe to stay here. We should meet up back in Amnoon to discuss what to do next. See you back in Amnoon. Wow. I knew I'd achieve this. Okay, so. Balthazar's dead. Oreen took some of that energy. Kakturk took most of it. And I think the plan was for Glint and her two scions to take the role of Elder Dragons and absorb their magic for good. Let's see. Hopefully this loads now. Because uh, Crystal Oasis has been one of the most buggy maps. <gasps> Loaded. Small victory. Let's see what happens. Are we going to get some sleep? Amnoon has really stepped up their security since the last time. Commander! Here. Hey! Tiny! What are you doing in Amnoon? I decided to take a break from the lab and get back out in the field. I'm here to give you guys a hand and hopefully poke some stuff. Of course, I'm sure old <laughs> Flunt and his flunky squad are probably combing through my dragon lab as we speak. Tiny. Anyway, Jory and I hitched a ride with Captain Keel and some trade envoys in her slow, floaty airship. This place really needs an Asura gate. Timey. Balthazar's dead. I heard! Congratulations! So what do we call you now? Dragon Slayer or God Stomper or what? Timey, focus. When Balthazar died, Kralkatorik absorbed most of his freed energy. Kralkatorik's even stronger and more dangerous than ever. Oh boy, that could seriously accelerate the Elder Dragon imbalance. I should run some worst case hypotheticals right away. You're lucky I'm here. And good thing I've got everything I need right here in Mobile Lab Scruffy 2.0. Excuse me, Commander. Chief Counselor Amon requests your presence inside for a small celebration to honor your victory. Sounds like someone's gotta go take a bow. Thank you. She's waiting for you now in the town square, sir. Everyone is. Ugh, no rest for the heroic. Timey, <laughs> I'll go and say a quick hello to the counselor. Then we can meet on the docks. I'll catch you up on everything there. You got it, God Stomper. It is a happy day indeed. Even now, the awakened forces of the transcendent. A uh, high commander. We heard the great news about Ooh, Balthazar. Sorry, guys. I hope you don't mind my arranging this little celebration of your victory. It's an impressive gathering, Counselor, but my crew and I really must rest. Of course, I'm certain killing gods must be exhausting work, but I can't in good conscience let Amnoon's heroes leave until you've all been fed, fawned over, and properly fed it. Perhaps just for a moment. I understand you've met Grand Vizier Udumishi. He's been regaling us with tales of your close collaboration on this great victory. What? Him? Yes. The Grand Vizier deserves all the credit he can grab. I would not have had the use of Joko's troops if it were not for his eager insistence. When the <laughs> truth about this victory is told to King Joko, I promise your name will come up as well. Oh no. Oh no. Excuse me. I, I, I must go. Now. <laughs> That's odd, and a bit worrisome. Udumishi may be a servile little weasel, but he moves in the highest echelons of Joko's government. But no, I won't let dark thoughts of that Lich King ruin this celebration. Today is about you, your companions, and your glorious victory. Actually, Counselor, I need to tell you the truth about what happened at Kodash. No, no, no. Save your honesty for another day. It's been too long hmm. since this city, since these people have had anything to celebrate, or heroes to embrace. They need this. They need you. 
In fact, <laughs> citizens of Amnoon, raise your glasses in toast to our heroes who delivered us from Balthazar and restored peace to our city. Cheers! Speech! Speech! Yes, Commander. Those who owe you their lives want to hear all about your momentous victory. Or, if you'd rather take a few moments to relax, mingle, and enjoy the moment first, you can take the stage whenever you're ready. Well, you know, I died a lot, and, uh... Of all the gods, I've always liked Balthazar Reef. You're always welcome. Maybe it was the beast. I've never seen an actual hero in the last time. I am not a grouchy cactus man. It's Nor am I a giant wrong. talking choy. Tell me about it. They closed the casino for this little soiree, so I can't collect for my wager on you until tomorrow. Which means I'm stuck in this haven for giddy, singing, dancing humans for at least one more day. We Silvari are not by and large, a giddy folk. We'll be out of here soon enough. Really? Unless I misheard, don't you have a speaking engagement first? Believe me, I considered just sneaking Yeah, out. I download the time. I'm convinced oh, Councillor Iman would just hunt me down. Might I suggest, when you do speak, that you avoid giving them the whole frightful truth while they're in such a party mood. On the other hand, I would also be wary of painting too rosy a picture. No reason to encourage their delusions of safety. We want them to stop this frivolous behavior and return to their senses when the morning comes. Just keep it vague. Nothing to get people too worked up either way. You just don't want them to close the casino again tomorrow. In my defense, it was a substantial wager. Honestly, I'm not sure what I'll tell them. I just want to get it over with so we can turn our attention back to Aureen. And Kralkatorik. Then remember, vague. As soon as I'm finished with this speech, thank you for encouraging them. We've got to gather everyone up and find Orin. <sighs> it's embarrassing to think the Dragon's Watch has been reduced to dragon babysitting. <laughs> You saw what happened when Balthazar died. Now we've got to go deal with an enraged, unpredictable Elder Dragon. All due respect, Commander. That's all I've wanted to do from the start. The truth. Well, you're about to get your wish. I just have to figure out what I should tell these people first. Any advice? What did Kanak say? He advised caution. Why? I just wanted to know which one of us you came to first. Seriously? Oh, well, I think you have to tell them the truth. That the gods have abandoned them? That killing Balthazar backfired, and now there's a riled up crystal dragon somewhere on the horizon? Listen, if Kralkatorik shows his big scaly snout here, it'd be nice if these people were ready for it. That is true. But then, maybe what these people really need is a brief moment of hope and happiness. Before they go back to living every day in fear. <laughs> You've already talked to Casimir, haven't you? Sorry, Tribune. I'm not saying. Commander, good. We've got to get back out there and find Orin. And figure we out do. what to do about Kralkatorik. We just have to make a graceful exit from this celebration. Uh, by the way, you're not considering telling these people everything that's happened, are yeah. you? I don't know yet. Please. I've spent a lot of time around these people. 
I'm not sure that they could handle the truth about the gods or the Elder Dragons. Not after all they've been through. Can't we just give them one day? I suppose it is true that the most immediate threat is gone. Then let them keep singing and dancing and laughing for today. Whatever tomorrow brings, we'll face it then. Command, the crowd is getting restless. It's time to take this time. I hope my daughter grows up to be just like you. I doubt you remember me, but I was in the pyramid the day you arrived. When the forged attacked, I never got to thank you, so thank you. We owe you our lives. Is that him? Mommy, is that the hero? Need to know. Think before you guys pack up and head home, you could maybe do something about those pesky sand sharks? They're the worst. People of Amnu, please open your hearts and prick up your ears for the warrior who stood toe to toe with the wrathful god. And how? <sighs> I know you're all here to celebrate the death of the fallen god who's terrorized Alona for so long. It's true, Balthazar is gone. But so are many of your brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers, sons and daughters who bravely stood up to him. We should take a moment to honor them and acknowledge their sacrifice. Balthazar's death doesn't mean the end of adversity. Ever since the gods arrived here, there have always been challenges, struggles, suffering. But look around. You're still here. What do we do now? But Balthazar's death also stirred the elder dragon, Kralkatoric. It circled overhead, attacking the desert just like it did Ascalon ten years ago. When the smoke cleared, we saw it disappear over the horizon. But the immediate threat is averted. Balthazar is dead. His forged army defeated. Meaning tranquility in the desert. At least for now. Yes! Can't hear you! So by all means, celebrate. Enjoy this moment. For as of now, the world belongs to us. Not gods, not dragons, not awakened or forged Tantons. or branded. To us. Elonians, Tyrians, Canthans. The world is changing. We, all of us, are the ones who are changing it. And woe to any who would stand in our way. So, a toast. Many challenges lie ahead. But may every battle lead to victory, and every victory to celebration. Thank you. Did you just say? Oh, come on. Are we safe now or Such not? an inspiring speech. I'm just brimming with optimism about what good things tomorrow might bring. Chief Counselor, you and I should talk sometime before I leave. Absolutely. I look forward to it. Now that you've convinced them the world is in absolutely no danger, why not join us outside? So we can figure out how to keep it from exploding <laughs> into a million pieces. Yeah. next. I filled Timey in on everything that happened with Balthazar, Kralkatoric, and Harin. First of all, about my killing Balthazar. 
You did what you had to do to save Aureen and yourself. And if it weren't for you, Commander, none of those people at that party would be alive right now. That's rather faint praise. Well, first thing we have to do is find Aureen. First thing is to hunt down Kralkatorik. Neither of those will help until we find out how to replace Elder Dragons. And, as usual, we'll probably end up having to protect all those innocent idiots who don't know how to stay out of harm's way. We're all thinking it, so I'll just come out and say it. Should we try one more time to get all of Dragon's Watch together? After all this time, do you even know where everyone is? Well, one of them is right here. Jory! Kaz, thank the gods you're okay. Kanak told me what happened with Balthazar. I was so afraid I'd never get to see you again. To tell you that I... I am so sorry about the way we left things. I know. I know. Me too. I hate to interrupt, but did anybody feel that? Feel what? Oh dear. Tell me this is just normal desert stuff. Oh no. Captain Raheem's capable hands. His cavaliers will protect us. Well, well, guys, uh, <laughs> that was Guild Wars 2 Path of Fire. Um, I was a bit tired playing it, as you can tell. But I did enjoy it. And I felt like it's more of a setting up Living World Season 4. Then an expansion, if you get me. I got. Oh, um, we killed Balthazar. I'm gonna do this outro in a second, actually. Let me uh, exit out of here. So yeah. To me. I very much enjoyed it. I was very tired playing it, which was a bad decision on my part. Mainly the later half. But I enjoyed it. The maps were awesome. I really liked the maps. 
Can't wait to explore them probably tomorrow on Sunday. And then the story. We killed Balthazar. And that's what the whole thing last two episodes of Living War Season 3 building up to. And then, you know, the start of this. Came to the desert. Harold. They went to Glint. But I think the whole Vlast thing is a bit drawn out. As in. I never thought I'd be happy to see so many cavaliers around the city. Rahim's From drive the start. The sparking the flame to the sacrifice was really good. Then halfway through the sacrifice, we got to this last bit that was really slow for me. Maybe it's just because of the server issues that we had at the time. But it seemed like from the sacrifice after Vlast died till the departing, it was all filler. You know, we ran around a map for, for I think for me it was like an hour, getting the video records. Then we went to Glinslayer and we got her memories. That's not video records, memories of Blast, and the memories of Glint. Then we went and we talked to Cormier for a bit. Like, this whole chapter, Facing the Truth, was just us talking to people. Now, the way forward was pretty good. We found Kesho, which was basically another Tarir. And then the departing was awesome. But again, it was a lot of filler as well. I don't know. Kill a god like the last three I was I should have gone to bed. I shouldn't have done act three. I should have gone to bed and I would have done a lot better. But all in all I enjoyed it. It was a very good expansion. I liked the maps a lot. I loved the maps. I loved the mounts. Story was pretty good. A little bit too much filler I think in the middle. But all in all it was really good filler. <laughs> it's very interesting, like you talk to a god. We killed the god, and that final cutscene was. <sighs> so I don't know how they're gonna work it. Like, well, he came from over here. Yeah, that doesn't work. When uh, last seen where he could have come from. So where was this desert he was going over? Was it over here? Scavengers' Causeway, maybe. Yeah, Living World Season 4, I think, is going to deal with the Crystal Dragons, Krakatark, and Irene. And also trying to get everyone together to face an all powerful Krakatark. Who we just destroyed the only weapon that we know of that destroys him. Ludicrous stuff. Awesome stuff. Cannot wait. For the on season four. Thank you guys so much for watching this series. I hope you enjoyed it. What the hell are you doing, man? And I will see you guys in the next video. Subscribe for more Gay Wars 2 content in the future. And take care.